supply and demand, and the supply seems to never run out. Uh, and and, and you, you've started a collaboration. They're saying it's unprecedented. You're working with DEA and state and local um, to, to try to head off the, the supply. What's that looking like? Well, right now we're, we uh, are in the process of creating what we call the OCDEF. Uh, task force, and it's uh, Manchester PD, New Hampshire State Police, and Nashville PD. We're going to be embedded with uh, the DEA, FBI. We'll even bring in the IRS to go after the people that may be financing some of the activities that are going on behind the scenes. Um, and then we're going to work together to go after the supply. That means all the way down to Mexico. Um, but then there's another side of that where we're, we're, we're intent on going after dirty doctors that are also prescription, uh, that are prescribing uh, pain medication off the grid. Because um, we want to go after them as well, because they're also contributing to the, to the pool of those who are suffering the, the disease of addiction. And my view has always been we have to shrink that. So we're going to go after the supply, and we're also going to go after the, the, the low-level drug dealers that are affecting the individual neighborhoods. And my hope is is that you know the community itself will work on shrinking those who uh, are suffering the disease, disease of addiction because um, that's what I need the most. We'll take care of the supply, and I need you folks to come together and take care of, of these, these people that, that need our help. Mr. Wozniak, are you in contact with the federal government? I mean, you're in charge of coordinating the state's response, whether it's law enforcement, education, treatment. Are you in contact with the federal government to help Chief Willard and other police chiefs around New Hampshire to make sure that that partnership's there? Yeah, we, I've had regular conversations with the White House, and uh, I, along with uh, Chief Willard, I've had conversations with uh, DEA. Uh, I've met uh, on several occasions with the New England high-intensity drug trafficking uh, uh, officers. Um, so yeah, we're we're in uh, uh, very strong contact uh, regularly with the state police, uh, who who are have all those people on speed. Are you down. satisfied with the response that you're getting? Is there a recognition of the urgency? I am. Yeah, I, I think it's a, you know, Chief Willard can tell you that the teamwork and the communication and the cooperation, I think, is extraordinary. Right. Because you two are speaking in future tense, um, so you, this, this collaboration isn't really uh, netted any results yet. Is that well, right, well, Chief? It, it oh. has, actually, because uh, I've done an initiative where I brought in these very partners to, to do the everyday uh, work. We, it's, I call the initiative Granite Hammer. It's, it's running for 90 days. We've done uh, four individual operations. We've netted 46 drug dealers. Uh, we've taken an, uh, an incredible amount of uh, drugs off the street. Just last night, 183 grams of fentanyl. And like I said to Dr. Andrew, you know, how many, how many deaths were potentially prevented by taking that fentanyl off the street last night? Um, so we're already embedded with DEA and New Hampshire State Police. I already have them in my community, and we're going after the drug dealers in real time as we speak. And that's the low-level stuff, or, or the quality of life drug dealer that I really want to get out of my, my community. Um, and then the OCDEF model that I talked about, uh, where we're bringing in, you know, the high-powered uh, people to go after the high-level dealers to include El Chapo and his gang. 